across the patient inside and she is made to lie down here and anesthesia is administered by the anesthetist. Once the patient is sedated, we put her into a proper position and then the procedure which is egg retrieval is done under anesthesia, under all aseptic precautions and using ultrasound as a guide. Here you can see we have a small laminar flow with a microscope and this is basically used for handling the male gamete or the semen sample. It is analyzed, it is determined whether the quality is good or not and then it can also be put through several tests. This is a centrifuge. It has a lid which can be locked. Now this runs at various speeds and it has you can see eight containers for test tubes in which the semen sample is properly labeled and then it is run at a certain RPM, we call it rotations per minute. And this is used for preparing the semen to be used for so many procedures. So this is box type incubator and this is Pharma 160i and we use this equipment for gassing of our media and heating for them. The next equipment with us is Embryomate and this is a beautiful LAF laminar airflow which give us a good flow and where we can handle our gametes, we can do all kind of manipulation. This is Mink, a kind of benchtop incubator and we generally use this equipment for the culture of our embryos and for the glass process culture. So this is the ICSI machine and with this machine we perform uh, ICSI which is intracytoplasmic histone injection. Basically we do the micromanipulation of all the gametes with this part and here we have the holding and injecting needles.